Woo! Despite my channel being a family-friendly channel with content suitable for all ages, this Let's Play series of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective has been rated T for Teen due to it featuring mild language and mild violence. So viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. I see a tree and a swing. I see a jungle gym and a river and a guy handing out leaflets. Why, yes, we're going to the bar! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. We are on chapter 14 today. It is 1.28 a.m. Something's going down at the park, and this is where the game at starts getting again. exciting. Yeah, who would have <laughs> thought something was going down in the park at 1.28 a.m.? Anyhow, let's start now. Nobody goes to the park at that hour. I except do all for the time. Except for the kids who like to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they get away with it. Temzik Park, the site of the little lady Camilla's abduction tonight, and the place where an important piece of evidence, the music box, was hidden. Yeah, with a gun in it. <laughs> oh, that's where the chef went! I wonder why our, our lady detective is looking so dejected. At least she isn't dead. But what did she find? She found a dead assistant that the Trick chef time. killed. Yes, this music. Leaflet. Delivery Leaf box. Food. Hey. Huh? <coughs> What's he doing here? Me, la la la. <laughs> la 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 la. Let me spend a moment's time with you, my love. The world will not end if a food delivery is a little late. La la la. <laughs> a little late? It's already ice cold. No wonder Zhao didn't get his... <laughs> Chicken it, it, warm. Uh, wait for him to get close, I guess. I got his hat. Nice. I got his sweatband! <laughs> okay. Swing <Sweet laughs> harder. <laughs> oh, is that an option? Yeah. Always look at the trick. <laughs> I don't remember doing this basketball globe climber. I thought that's a globe chamber. Oh my gosh, look at how high he's going. <laughs> Meme, da -da -da. A love letter? What? Oh wait, this... it's gonna fly into the center. Oh, this God. is like the uh, Kingdom Hearts Winnie the Pooh minigame. <laughs> where Pooh has to use the balloon to fly up the honey tree. <laughs> Win, look. Stuff is moving on on its own. The rugby ball. That's a football, people. <laughs> but I love rugby. Wait. Can I open it again? Yeah, I can open it again. That, that worked great. <laughs> Might have to spin the chamber. And use the basketball wallpaper. Beautiful. So many <laughs> objects. Indeed. Hey, Lynn. How's it going? Talk to her. Yeah, fine. Oh, there you are, Sissel. From your dejected expression, I gather, you didn't find what we were looking for. Right. I can't find the music box anywhere. But I found something else instead. Something horrible. Horrible? What is it? There in the grass. You'd better see for yourself. A dead body! It looks like a dead body. I nearly died when I saw it. And I suppose now that we found it, we can't just leave it there, can we? Nope, I suppose not. Oh wait, I wanted to move over there. Mascot, Mascot crushed on human being. Who is it? Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park, <laughs> the rock of the gods! You there! You're talking to me, aren't you? I have some leaflets for you! Leaflets I know you'll be very interested in! I urge you to peruse it thoroughly, examine it in detail! N never mind that right now. Do you remember your name? My name? My name is Bleakly! <laughs> what does my name matter when there are more important things to worry about? Okay! Come now and study these tracks with me, my brother! Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods with me! The night is no longer young. As a matter of fact, daybreak is approaching. 
but we are young. Look, I don't have the time to get involved in your way of life, but I am interested in your way of death. So let's go back, back to four minutes before your death. We finally get to save somebody for the first time in like five. I want to save him. Oh, come on. He's, he's not a bad guy. He's just kind of annoying. Four minutes before death. This is 8.23 p.m. So he died quite a few hours ago. And so I made up my mind. I resolved to live here in this park and defend it. Okay. And what does that have to do with the rock of the gods you mentioned? You still don't appear to understand. Yeah, it's the guy who drove the car. Yeah, yeah. I this, know. this happened before. This happened before. Before he drove the car. Yep. It's written quite clearly in the fourth leaflet in great detail. Excuse me, but I have to use the restroom. Don't follow me in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah! I don't know who it is. Oh, it's her. I'm coming! Just hold on! I'll be oh right gosh, there! This explains everything. Oh, hey, what a great guy. He's actually going to try to stop it. I've located the target beauty. A girl of the right age coming out of the right apartment building at the right time. Yep. Big mistakey. <laughs> she shoved the music box through the hedge. <laughs> yes, my dear. I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. Good evening, young lady. Won't you come with me? What should I do? What should I do? I have to do something! <laughs> what? That happened by another ghost manipulator! Unless if it has the weirdest track- What in the world?! What just happened?! Unless it had the weirdest track in the universe. <laughs> uh, oh! That's Mino! Mino? Mino, the mascot, the symbol of Temzik Park. Forget about the name of that big creepy lump of concrete. I'm talking about the way it changed direction. Did you see that? Yes, yes I did. We witnessed it with our own eyes. The power of the Rock of the Gods. That was the power oh of the gods. Oh my gosh. The power of the gods saved that little so girl. all of this stupid stuff that he's been blabbing. Oh, come join me with the Rock Gods. Probably some manipulators been <laughs> hanging out on this rock like, <laughs> like Totoro. <laughs> <laughs> you think this guy is the manipulator, or do you think no, he just hangs I around? I think he hangs around the manipulator and is like, Oh, the rock can move! Everybody <laughs> loves the rock gods! <laughs> Interesting theory. And then that very same power very deliberately crushed you instead. Yes! Yes, precisely! That is called the mischief of the gods! Was it the mischief of the gods, or was it a ghost trick? But nah, it couldn't have been a ghost trick. No ghost trick could change the direction of something that heavy in midair. But wait a minute. What if there was somebody with much greater powers than me? So great in power and majesty and might. What is that supposed to be? I don't know. Trick time. Look at that. There's another flame besides mine. Oh, so that is the flame of the god, is it? But hold on. Your spirit is a flame too, isn't it? Yeah, so... Uh, pardon me, but... Are you a god? I sincerely doubt it. At the last minute, that big lump of concrete made a huge swing to one side. That was probably that flame's doing. Who could it be? I definitely believe it's either a god or somebody god-related! Hmm, maybe I'd better try talking to this person. We can talk? We, we can. should not be able to be able to talk. But... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> what the? This person with much greater powers than it's me. It's the chicken guy. It's... <laughs> it's... You? Hey! Sissel! <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Wait, I was doing it's... Sissel. Missile! 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 <laughs> you look well for being dead. Did you see? Did you see what I did? I did it! I tried really hard and I did it! I saved Miss Camilla! Are you 
telling me I was done in by a puppy dog! Missile, what's going on? How did you get the powers of the dead? I'm glad you asked! After Miss Camilla went out and you left, I ran against the door until I died! <laughs> One of the best twists ever, that Missile is a ghost tricker. <laughs> I worked like crazy to make my own path and did it! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like Pal from Arthur. And then I followed Miss Camilla out into the big wide world! And then here in the park I found her at last! Yep, you guessed it! I barked! You bet I did and I went running right after her too! Ruff, ruff! I wondered where Missile was gonna come in. Oh no. Oh no! All you had to do was move a little bit to no! the side. No! And then I guess I died. And then I was unconscious for a little while. When I came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Camilla. Crushed under the big scary lump. <laughs> oh, oh, what have I done? I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me. Miss Camilla! I had to rescue Miss Camilla. It was up to me. I cried out from the depths of my heart. And then... I can't tell you how surprised I was, but I bet you understand, right? Better than probably anyone else could. And then I remembered what you did for me, how you saved me. So, you went back, right? Back to four minutes before the little lady's death? You bet I did! And then I killed somebody else! <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. This is where the game starts getting amazing. <laughs> yes, my dear. I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. I love this music so much. <sighs> now is my chance, I thought. I saw the core! I don't know, it looks pretty far. I stretched out my paw toward the core. Ooh, how I felt at that moment! I'd love for you to be able to feel it too. Go ahead, Sissel, try and feel it for yourself. Or try it for yourself. You have the world's longest- I, I can't believe it! How could you connect over such a great distance? Well, they don't call me Missile for nothing! Hmm, and so then you manipulated that Mino fan and threw it aside? Right on top of my head! Well, uh, no, actually. Huh? I can't manipulate things like you can, Sissel. You can't? Then how did you- I didn't know what to do. Then I happened to see something out of the corner of my eye. And it had a core, too. So it can swap the spot, or what's there. I get that. You'll see. A single leaf hanging from the tree. I tried reaching out to the leaf. What in the world? Yeah, it's a swap. I can't manipulate things, but apparently I can swap them. As long as the two things have the same same shape. I mean, from a two-dimensional standpoint, yes. I mean, that's still really hard if it's like, well, can't swap people. You can't swap dogs. You it's can't a, so swap it, it's cool, but it's pretty limited in yeah. where it can be used. Yeah. Swap things with the same shape? Go ahead and try it. Touch the swap button. To that explains Th that's incredible and so that's how you saved your mistress is it and that's how i became caught up in this is it i'm very sorry my powers were too meager meager because you see i saw one more i happened to notice one more core there was something with the exact same shape stuck in the branches of the tree hey you're right if mino could be swapped again with that the disaster wouldn't have to rain down on my head! But what is that thing? It's too big to be a leaf. Whatever it is, I'd much prefer it on my head than Mino! <laughs> so why didn't you swap the missile? I couldn't. I can stretch my paw a little further than you can, Sissel. 
But this was just too far for me. I couldn't reach it. So Sissel has like twice the range of Sissel, which is interesting. Sissel has twi the, twice the range of Sissel. I said missile. Oh, I thought you said Sissel. They just rhyme. That's <laughs> Sissel and missile. <laughs> The ghost team. Maybe that's maybe um all of the uh ghost manipulators have to have like two S's in their name. <laughs> that's how you get ghost tricks. That's how you get ghost tricks. <laughs> oh man, sissy when she dies, she's gonna have ghost powers. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know any other explanation. I must admit, it's a fascinating spectacle of a death if I do say so myself. I kept retrying over and over seeing if there was anything I could do. I bet there's something you can do now. Huh? If we work together, you and me... Sissel, you think so? I don't plan on letting anybody die in front of me tonight. Do you think you could help me? Of course! Naturally! So we're going to drop that Mino Fiend in a different spot. Okay, let's try it. Let's go back again to four minutes before. Wouldn't this not be hard? What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? don't you just move? What do you mean? Oh, okay. I think I get this. Alright, let's get started. Football. Four minutes from now, you'll swap Mino with the leaf. And then you have to swap Mino with something else. Something with the same shape. Oh, I believe that's a rugby ball! It's a football, you dingus! Maybe they don't have football in Japan. Okay, rugby ball, huh? But with the football <laughs> where it is now, Missile can't reach it. So that means I have to move it closer somehow. Looks like you and I will have to work together on that one, Missile. Okay, I'm ready! Whenever you want to use my swap trick, just touch the swap icon! The missile icon! Oh. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> that way you'll be able to control me! And then if you touch the... Sissel icon! <laughs> yep. <coughs> control will come back to me. By the way, you can switch between us with select, too! Don't remember what button that I mapped that to. Select, huh? I'll remember that. Just start pressing buttons. No! I could ruin our safe states. <laughs> okay, well, we can check the configuration. Yeah, we could. We don't need to, though. You can have okay, the mouse. Okay, let's try it. Actually, we both have the mouse. Together we can stop Mino from hurting anybody! Rough! <laughs> Trick time! Alright, Missile. Your powers are the key this time. Okay, I'm ready. I can swap anything that has the same shape. Just call on me if you ever find anything you want to try. Probably the best thing to do is try a bunch of things and see how it goes. Trial and error. And if I see something we can swap, I should use the missile icon. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love I know. this. So Missile's great. Ooh, let's open the dumpster lid. Just trust me. Oh, me also, one thing that is kind of annoying, Sissel and Missile cannot possess the same core at the same time. That's fine. I kind of you would You'd say it's that. fine, but it actually gets pretty annoying pretty I cool. wouldn't expect that, though. Well, would you look at that. There sure are a whole lot of round fins around here. Oh boy! That means it's time for me, right? Oh boy! My hair is also round! Let's see. To use missile's powers, I should touch the missile icon. I'll try it and see what happens. One other thing that's kind of annoying when controlling missile, you can't move from one object to a different one of the same shape. You can only swap it. So that's kind of annoying. So if you're like on a baseball trying to move to a basketball, it'll force you to swap it and you'll be like, I can't do it. Um, did you screw up already? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> so, like, let's say you're on the tire and you want to move to the baseball. Mm -hmm. Try moving to the baseball. No, you move to the seesaw first. Yeah, see? You can't move. You'd have to swap, so you have to move somewhere else before. You could swap now, though. And remember, as soon as you hit back, time will resume. <laughs> Go back. There's the fop balloon. Whew, here you come already. I swore to myself not to repeat my mistakes. Mistakes? When somebody's in trouble, you should lend them a hand. Otherwise, you'll definitely regret it. And now the recklessness of youth has taken over, giving me lightning fast speed. Hmm, I've been thinking. If we could stop this man from running, maybe he wouldn't get squished. It won't be easy to stop me once the recklessness of youth has taken over. Hmm, stop him, eh?
Oh, right. I can't do anything. You'll have to swap to missile. Bark, bark. Ruff, ruff. Swap the tire of the basketball. How about you wait for him to jump on the cage and he'll start spinning around? You spin me round, 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 spin me round, yeah. <laughs> Maybe wait for him to spin a little more next time. See, that was actually a little too much that you waited. Swap to Sissel first, because remember, Missile can move farther. Uh, maybe wait a little bit longer. Back and then immediately ghost again. There you go. So what you want to do is you want to get up in the tree. Oh, I was going to spin it even more. Oh, sure, spin it even more. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that the spinny fiend at our old church. Oh, yeah! <laughs> wow, I didn't see this coming. Don't you know the first thing about the globe climber? Huh? Even little children treat it with the respect it deserves. They know that unless you spin it gently, there's no stopping it. Yeah, it does look pretty dangerous. It looks like I'm just destined to fly through the air like this for a while. Hmm. That's good to know. This just might buy us some time. Maybe he'll just keep spinning around like that the whole four minutes. I'm so sorry, but I don't think I would stand it for that long. But anyway, at least we stopped him from running for a while. Let's do what we can while we have this chance. Fade slightly. No, apparently not, actually. Whoa! Oh, nice. <laughs> Okay, move him up in the tree, now move Sissel, or Missile up in the tree. Actually, Missile might need to stay behind and swap with mine. Well, no, no, move him up in the tree. What? Well, miss Missile can probably get down from the tree a whole lot easier than Sissel can. Alright, Sissel, or... Sissel needs move, the move Missile to the uh, balloon. That'll be out of the way. And now move to back to Sissel. Yeah. Remember, you can't move to the same spot. Okay, move missile down to the flyer. <laughs> bark, bark. Ruff, ruff. I love... <laughs> oh, crap. I don't think he can actually get up there. Go to the balloon. You can fly it. You can rustle the love letter. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Maybe that was the chicken lord's love of chicken. It's the chicken kitchen chef, not the chicken lord. Close. You also call this guy the park lord, which is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really funny animation, I have to say. Oh, that was so close! If he hit the ball, it could have knocked it down! Is that all this umbrella can be used for? For knocking the rugby ball down? It's a football! Don't forget about my powers! And don't forget about my recklessness of youth! <laughs> okay. starting to look horrible to me! Hmm, we have to find a way to get this ball closer to that Mino thing. Knock it down from the tree, I say! There must be something we can do. There's Maybe you can swap can it with something up here. Missile! Missile! I'm staying alive! <laughs> Remember, they can't move to the same core. <laughs> Everybody loves to be... Oh, whoops. Everybody wants to be a cat. Everybody wants to be missile. Everybody Whoa. needs a ninja. Ninja podcasts are the best. The bar. I know. <laughs> it's great. Dumpster lid. Swap Spirit. back to Sissel and open the umbrella. See if that changes anything. It's kind of sort of the same shape. <laughs> Oh no! Oh hey! <laughs> that worked out! Oh wait, we wanna read that, don't we? Probably. Wow, I so did not see that coming. I never thought the umbrella would catch the ball. Did you see that? The tree branch! It shook a little! I think I saw it shake too! If only it shook a little more! Then it would knock that terrible rugby ball down! From this terrible tree! 
Maybe it just needs a little more weight. I'm sure we can do this. We just have to put our heads together. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Everything looks good so far. We just need one more step. Yeah, I think we already screwed it up. Or actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, go to the basketball. See if you can... Sh the basketball. I was trying. Because remember, there's something... There's some round stuff around here. Basketball. Basketball. We, we love, love basketball. basketball. It's the best game that we play every day. That would make it lighter. If only the tire was there instead. Which Crap. it was originally. Mm. Yeah. So I thought it was too late. Dang it. I wanted I want the magic school bus. I think we have to reset now. No! The, the tire's too far away. And I unless Cecil can make that move again. Make the umbrella move? Make the this the cage move again. You're on missile. <gasps> oh he can't. Okay, maybe you can move it close enough. I, w I wouldn't bet on it, but nope, it gotta be you closer. Can bet gotta be closer on it, than bet that. On it, bet on it, bet on it. Oh, new dialogue. Whoo! Look at that thing go. It doesn't look like it's gonna stop for quite a while. Ah, these globe climber novices. Huh? Even little children treat it with the respect it deserves. They know that unless you spin it gently, there's no stopping it. Yeah, it does look pretty dangerous. One time I was riding on it and I got carried away. I was spinning so fast I couldn't get off for a while. A harrowing experience. Was that right now? Hmm, I think I'd like to see that. <laughs> um, are you ever gonna box it when it's cold? Okay, fine. <laughs> Go back from the beginning. No biggie. Let's just cut back to where we were. Yeah. But this time, with the tire in the right place. But this time, we do Trick it right. time. But this time, we do it good. Yeah, I was about to say. I got the call back. That would be, like, the best. Okay, so we're not gonna actually swap stuff. We don't really need missile, I just realized. Like, at all. Yeah, we do. Would you look at that? We've got some dialogue, and it's cool. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, boy, Pluto? Hot dog, Pluto! Thanks for playing for me. You're welcome. You're very welcome, aren't you? Oh boy, it's time for the park guardian to go and fly! Splendid piece of stilts in what? Mmm. <laughs> I don't I don't know why that amuses me so much, but it is funny. Spin it. You yeah, spin I do need me to round like a radio. Round like a radio! Like it is dynamite. <laughs> oh, I forgot about dynamite. Dynamite. It must be Italian. Whoosh. Open up the umbrella. Open up the umbrella. Look at this funny flattened ball. It looks like the weird... Totoro. <laughs> it's not a Totoro statue, it's Mino. It, actually, let's let's examine that, shot. That reminds me of the great... Is it Mido So it's Mido? it's got eyes. Is that like a beard, then? Or is that like its face? Or like scales? I don't or really like know. Or like an egg? It, it is shaped like an egg. Oh, shoot. Doggone! Yeah! So we need the basketball over there. Sizzle, did you see that? Did you see the seesaw? Yes, it really sent the little ball flying, didn't it? Such a pity! It's too bad it didn't hit the rugby ball and knock it down! Hmm, maybe it's a little too light to do that. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe we should try setting up something a little heavier. I'm, I, I apologize. My voice. This is... I forgot how hard it is to voice me, so. Really? It's a that hard? Bit. Just a little bit. Just a little tiny a bit. bit. <laughs> Back in my day, sandwiches were called flap smacks and cost two playing cards a bite. What? <laughs> woof woof. The Simpsons woof, road woof. rage. Alright, let's try this again. Everybody this time... So this time, Missile's gonna possess the baseball. Basketball, basketball. 
Yes, we get it. You love basketball. Oh, basketball. <laughs> okay, now we just move. Now we wait for the guardian of the park. Guardian of the park. Go I on. love the swing. <laughs> Honestly, I like, like I sandwiches. Be as weird I as the them all the time. Park. You but wouldn't? I wouldn't be, but if you got the job, park guardian, what? How weird would you be? A very strange. There we go. I like how the music stops when you make it <laughs> go faster. All right, so We're that's a, it's a little precise, but it's cool. It's cool. It's fun. It's number one. No guessing. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny if one alternate way to save him is just to keep spinning it over and over again. <laughs> It'd be cool. All right, now we're up to where we need to be. Now Missile's going to swap the yeah. tire with the basketball, and okay. Marty's in charge now. It's so heavy. There! We moved the ball! What do you think, Missile? Hmm, with the ball there, I think I can do it! You better be able to do in it. In just a few seconds, you'll swap Mino with the Leaf. And then from there, you can swap Mino one more time. The final moment is near, Missile. Are you ready? Nope! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bat! Rough! So get on, uh, not the trowel. Get on the football. I'm not gonna get on the football. Yeah, get on the football. Not gonna I'm... eat mud. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! It's too far. Yeah, you don't swap with the leaf. He's already going to swap it with the leaf. No, no, Missile, like, alternate timeline Missile is going to drop it. Because right now, because we're not saving oh. Camilla, we're saving the park guardian. So that's automatically going to happen. Okay, so it's, I'm on the so go back. ball. I'm yeah, good. go back. I'll just make a little save Time until death is three seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> three seconds. Oh no! My head! Ugh. Why was there a crane holding this mascot anyways? Nobody knows. I think it might stop automatically. Yep. Okay, watch me, Sissel. Here I go. The finishing touches. You can do it, Missile. Swap Mino with that ball. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'll swap it. <laughs> then the rock tips over on it. <laughs> there, how's that? My head has been spared! Truly, that was a try worthy of the gods! And now Mino is right where he belongs. We did it again, didn't we? Didn't we? Fate averted! I now love how Mino, you... Now Mino's back where he belongs. In the trash! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the great Mido. <laughs> I'm the great... Is it Mido or great Mido? Pretty much everyone pronounces it Mido. I always thought it was Mido. Oh. Sounds cooler. I'm the great Mido, and you can, like, go rob his house. <laughs> Sunglasses on, hashtag fug life. Oh my god. Now nobody has to die! I love how Missile, like, you get to play as him. It's so oh, yeah. good. Except for one brave little somebody. Huh? I'm talking about you, Missile. Oh. Me? I guess you're right. I'm still dead, aren't I? So, now let's go back and save your life. Wait a minute. I can't be spared. What is it? Now that I think about it, I think I want to stay dead a little longer. What? When I was alive, I couldn't even help Miss Camilla when she was in trouble. I want to be able to protect Miss Camilla. And to do that, I need these powers I have now. I see. Perfectly understandable! Also, <laughs> even uh, <laughs> a dead dog, no. Even I wish I had powers like that. Hey, we just saved you. Don't wish your life away already. Oh, of course. You're right. Okay, Missile. Have it your way. By the way, Mr. Reckless Youth, there's a certain detective that needs a music box you found. When we get back to the present time, could you give it to her? Certainly! You have my word! Let's go back then to the present! Poor Camilla. She's gonna, like, get back from uh, supposedly okay, and that... being abducted. And then her dog's gonna be dead. I just want to point out 
That explains why Camilla had the core. Because Missile saved her. Oh. And that's why we could talk to her. And she's like, Missile, is that you? Oh. It's a nice foreshadowing. And so Camilla ended up in the hands of the kidnappers. We weren't able to change that part. Lynn listened to my story without saying anything. I'm sorry. I wish there was something else I could have done. No, you did the best you could. I'm sure she's alright. After all... After all, she has me! Missile, are you in there? Miss Lynn, leave Miss Camilla to me! I know I don't look like much right now, but I'm sure I can help her. How would they, does their dog talk normally? Miss no. <laughs> but he barks. Miss Lynn! I'm just a little old leaf, blown away in the wind. I'm going to leave it up to you, Missile. It kind of looks like Missile is being left up to the wind. Was he unconscious for like four hours? Ooh. Oh! Uh. I have something to give you! Stop the park from being turned into a housing <laughs> site! Protect the park! The rock of the gods! Aren't you forgetting your promise? Oh, pardon me! Pardon me! <laughs> My apologies. This is for you. Oh. You kept the music box safe, didn't you? Thank you. <laughs> Not at all. I was only doing what the Rock of the Gods would have wanted. Why are you dying now? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? He's mesmerized by my beauty. Or is someone manipulating him? Hey, the cat's not allowed to get your tongue! Somebody's moving, somebody's shaking. Excuse me, but are you? No, it couldn't be! Have we met before? Are you the weirdest brother that she's ever had? Aren't you? Aren't you that little girl from that time? I'll never forget it! It was ten years ago in this park! How old are you? Ten years ago? Probably at my age or something. Still, ten years ago, you would have been what, like, twelve? Almost, tw almost thirteen. Almost thirteen, still. Are you talking about... Trick time. I don't think it matters who you possess, honestly. Have you met this strange young man before, Lynn? I don't remember, but he said ten years ago in this park. It could only be one thing that I can think of. Hmm. It looks like I'd better let Mr. Leaflet uh, talk now. Oh. Save the park! Here in this park, the gods surely control fate! Today, ten years ago from that day, we meet once again. If that isn't the power of the gods, then what else is it? It could just be a coincidence. But apparently you know our lady detective here. Could you tell us about what, uh, could you tell us about it, uh, about what happened ten years ago? Yes! Yes, of course! I was actually about to do just that! What's this rock of the gods you keep mentioning? Don't you know? It's right there in front of us! The great Mino. What? With the dead dog? Okay. Missile. He walks like a ballet dancer. Wait a minute. You say G O D S, but do you mean D O G S? Of course not! Don't be silly! This is no time for ridiculous word games! You are standing just above the Rock of Gods now! Take a good look at that monument! Monument? Poor Missile. Rock, Rock of the Gods, Rock. Temzik Park. The Rock of the Gods. The rock is buried in the ground right there. It's been there for these ten years. Ever since that day, it flew down from the heavens and showed us a miracle. A miracle? So this rock you've been talking about is a meteorite? 
Precisely! It dropped from the sky on that day ten years ago. Yes, of course! Surely you know all about it! Me? Oh, this is where it gets really good. That day, I just happened to be passing through this park. I had no idea that day would change my destiny. The sun was going down, and through the gloom, I heard the scream of a little girl. <coughs> now just calm down and drop that weapon. S stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. I peeked out fearfully from the bushes and saw some shadowy figures. I didn't see the face of the criminal clearly. I knew I should do something to help, but I couldn't move. The tension was so thick it was painful, just when I couldn't stand it any longer. That's when it happened. The sky suddenly turned bluish white! When it crashed into the ground, the meteorite gave off a shower of beautiful fragments. And then I saw it. One of those beautiful fragments. Pierced into the criminal's back. So in other words, somebody didn't die. The judgment of the gods was brought down on the park that day. Except, no, it did kill him. Well, but I'm, what I'm saying is the gun didn't kill him. Right. Ten years ago, the little girl that was the you we was saved by the rock of the gods. Oh my... I can't believe it. The Rock of the Gods was given the name Temzik. And still today, it lies sleeping deep in the earth, park's earth. I... I never knew about this Temzik. I always thought Detective Jowd was the one who saved me. You were very young then. And you passed out from the shock of being taken hostage. Of course you wouldn't remember. But that's funny. A huge incident like that should have caused quite a stir. It's strange that you never heard of it, Lynn. It is, isn't it? But now that I think about it, I remember I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news and I never came back to this park again. That's why I didn't know anything about it. The meteorite was named Temzik after the name of this park that it fell in. And then the Rock of the Gods was forgotten. Now an awful thing is happening! They're talking about turning the park into a housing site! I'll never forget the miracle I witnessed that day. And so I've taken up residence in this park and I'm trying to appeal to the people. Protect the park! The Rock of the Gods! That is my mission. I see. Even the park weirdo has an important role in the park. I plot. figured he would, <laughs> sadly. Oh. I'm taking you with me, Missile. So ten years ago, the little girl that was Lynn wasn't aware of the meteorite. I get that. But Detective Jowd, on the other hand, there's no way he wouldn't know about this Temzik thing. And if he knew... And the man died. I took his life. What was that confession of his all about? The rocks of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago changed the destinies of many people's lives. Like the ripples on a pond when a pebble is dropped in. With every answer I get, I learn about a new mystery. Will I be able to break the chain of mysteries before dawn? Anyway, now that we have the evidence we need, we decided to meet up again at the minister's office. Besides, there are a few things I want to ask Detective Jowd. Yep, it's a safe spot. Oh, it's not! Yay! We found the music box, Detective Jowd! Good job, Lynn. I knew you would. Once everything has been resolved, I had wanted you to give this to him. Him? You mean Inspector Cabanella, right? I don't suppose he'll ever forgive me. Detective Jowd. Now then, let's get this feed open. There's a certain knack to doing it, you know. <laughs> See? <laughs> he calls that a knack? Looks more like brute strength to me. That's a big... That's a big gun. Here you are. You should find scorch marks on the grip. Scorch marks? When Camilla built her contraption, she used a special kind of strain. It's a kind magicians use. It burns up in an instant and disappears. Why would little Camilla use something like that? I don't know. Maybe she's because maybe it's because she's a detective's daughter. 
not leaving any evidence behind and all that. <laughs> In the case report, there is a mention of some scorch marks. When it happened, Camilla was watching from her hiding place. She saw the flame run to the gun, and something she naturally didn't include in her design. Oh wait, that might be Jowd speaking. I thought that was the minister talking back. <laughs> Maybe. I took the gun out of the frame and replaced it with a picture. If you remove the picture, you should find scorch marks behind it on the frame, too. And those marks should match up with the ones on the gun. In other words... It proves the, con the contraption existed there in that room that day. And it didn't work the way your little girl intended, is that right? Exactly. Some cowardly culprit modified the design. But that angle was never brought up in court. And so, as Justice Minister, I must call off the execution at this point. I knew I was right. It wasn't Detective Jowd. Now we can finally prove that. Thank goodness. Thank you, Lynn. In those eyes of yours, I see the eyes of that little girl from ten years ago. Trick time! Everybody loves trick- Wait, it wouldn't be an episode without- <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Oh wait, I was doing the French national anthem. Hmm. What's the matter? I just don't know. What should I have done five years ago? Back then, nobody had any way of knowing the true nature of the manipulator. It wasn't anybody's fault that we didn't know the truth. Do you really think so? Of course. Besides, what's important right now is deciding what to do next. Am I right? She's right, Mr. Minister. Y yes. Yes, of course. I do believe she is. Hmm. What is it now? I just don't know. What should I do next? You'll figure it out. We believe in you. Cool. No, I didn't want to do that again! <laughs> Talk to me again, please! <laughs> <laughs> Precious. Sissel, if you hadn't come to my cell tonight, I would be gone by now without ever having known any of this. This is what I deserve. That's what I told myself these past five years. But things are different now. Thanks to you, my eyes have finally been opened. Tonight, I've come into contact with a lot of people's lives and got involved in their fates. And the only reason I was doing it was to regain my own lost memory. But things are different now. We're connected to each other somehow. I just know it. And that's why I need to ask you a few more questions. In order to find the truth about us. Fair enough. Fire away. The manipulator. Cecil told me all about it, Detective Jowd. About the manipulator. Yes, and it looks like this manipulator really did a number on the minister, too. Ah! <laughs> Please don't pick on the minister. If he dies again, I'm the one who has to save him. Uh -huh. Sissel, do you think... Do you think that's what happened to me, too? Hmm? What are you talking about, Lin? Don't tell me. You were manipulated, too?! There was always a part of me that just couldn't believe it. The image of the one who oh, that's me. The image of the that's one who shot me. That's right, the image of the, of the one who shot me. But now I see the possibility of a new explanation. I, I figured there was something going on behind that. But who is it? And why did they do it? Indeed. The contraption was a birthday present for Camilla's mother, wasn't it? That's right. Something's been bothering me about it. I feel like I know that device from somewhere. Yeah, because you died by it! No surprise there. You lost your life once tonight because of that machine. <laughs> Lynn and Marty both completely forgot about the machine. Wow. What? I didn't forget about yeah, that. Yeah, you did. You you saw the machine in the room and you're like... Hmm. I didn't really... Oh, yeah! This is the lady's apartment! It's like... No? <laughs> no. Okay, because I thought we were looking at the actual room, not the stuff in the room. I oh. was looking at the room around. Even like, then, I when I'm like, no, don't look at the room. Look at the stuff in the room. You're like, I still don't know. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> like Donkey Kong, when he has two coconuts and Diddy's <laughs> wife, and he has to choose <laughs> just two, two of them. them. 
<laughs> do you get both or do you get Diddy Kong dead? dead. And it's like, I don't know. No! <laughs> it's like, really, Donkey Kong? <laughs> see, I knew it. See, Detective Chow? No, I'm afraid I don't see. I told Detective Jout about it. Told him about seeing the exact same contraption tonight in a completely different place. That's very strange indeed. A junkyard on the edge of town? I've never even heard of the place. And what's more, I've never told a single soul about that contraption. You haven't? Hmm, that old pigeon guy. Who in the world is he? <laughs> cool, now it's a recording. No, I can just cut that out. See, you always sneeze while I'm in the middle of talking and I can't Sorry. cut it out. <laughs> Temzik. Detective Jowd, you must have heard this name before. Temzik. The meteorite that fell in the park ten years ago. You were there. So you found out about that, did you? I hear that meteorite saved little Lin's life. That's right. I couldn't do anything to help Lin that day. But in that case, I don't get it. If it's true, doesn't it mean you didn't steal somebody's life away? What are you talking about? Detective Jowd, you told me that ten years ago, the person who killed the perpetrator in the park was you. What? But it was the meteorite! I wasn't lying. I stole that man's life away. No question about it. It was entirely my fault. He summoned the meteorite to the park. PK no! Star Storm! I was just about to shoot him. I would have shot him in the next instant if the meteorite hadn't come. At that point, I was already a murderer. That's not true! You were trying to save me. Lynn, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's really it. Huh? I think I'm a terrible person. On that day ten years ago, a different incident happened in another place. Another place? Yes, in the police headquarters interrogation room. Yeah, remember when, like, Wright got- <laughs> No, remember when Wright got electrocuted by Von Karma? Yeah, that was the same day. <laughs> <laughs> the worst sort of incident. A suspect who had been questioned escaped. Wow, I didn't know about that. I happened to be there in the detective division, so I joined the chase. Fortunately, or I guess unfortunately, I was able to track him down alone in the park. Okay, so that's what the person is. Hold it right there! I fired a warning shot. I wanted to catch him. Bad. That warning shot made him panic. At the time, I was a young and green detective brandishing my sense of justice like a sword. I made him panic and got you involved, Lynn. It was all my fault. No, it's still the fault of the doofus who, well... Picks up the girl. Yeah. Detective Joe. All I could see was my target. I couldn't even see you. I'm so sorry, Lynn. That's not like... It's fine. Worked out. So the man who grabbed me died that day. These last ten years, I've never forgotten his face. Then a few years after that... When my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way, I thought it was fate, my punishment for what I'd done. Yeah, I could see that. So we painted Sissel. I painted pictures in my cell, nothing but portraits of people's faces. All the faces of the many people I'd met in my life and didn't want to forget. And tonight, I finished my last portrait. The final face I wanted to remember. It was Sissel, the guy that tried to kill her in the park. I don't know. The final face. The face of the man in the park that I day. was right! See? Well, wait just one moment! That can't be! I saw that painting! I saw the face you painted tonight! Wow, Sissel, you be a bad man. See, I called it! I knew he'd be terrible! It was my face! Are you telling me that I was the man in the park that time? Time travel. That's right. That face of yours is the face I saw ten years ago. The face of the man whose life I stole, of the man who was pronounced dead at the scene. Okay, I have a theory. The meteorite pierces his skin. 
he dies. Suddenly, it, it is the rock of the gods, and he is bestowed upon him the ghost trick powers. <laughs> oh! Hallelujah! <laughs> That doesn't make any sense, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's a video game! We have ghost tricks happening, that doesn't make sense. No, but if he died, then he would have been a ghost ten years ago. Yeah, I agree. Maybe he has a twin. <laughs> Maybe he has a twin. Or a triplet. And then there's, like, a guy who died ten years ago. A guy who died now. And then, I don't know, hmm. somebody else. Also, this is possibly my favorite music in the game. But, but hold on, Detective Zhao! That can't be true! I just met Sissel for the first time tonight! And he died right in front of me. By the way, the name that I know the man in the park that day by isn't Sissel. What? It's Liesel! From the first minute I lays on laid eyes on you tonight, I've been wondering, who in the world is this guy? Uh, I... The name wasn't Sissel. Here's the thing. What? We found out our name was Sissel because of the lamp, right? Yep. Yup! Okay! No, 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 he didn't tell us. We found out because of the eyebrowed guy. Like, <laughs> yeah, Sissel, he's not to be trusted. We've got to get rid of him. <laughs> oh. I guess. Mr. Minister. Inspector Cabanella, where are you? Just be quiet and listen. This is our demand. What? W what? Demand? Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be tonight. What?! Once we've confirmed it's been carried out, we'll release the hostage. What are you talking about, Inspector Cabanella? And you know it wasn't my daughter who was abducted! Does it really matter who the hostage is? A life is a life. Even if it's the daughter of a death row prisoner. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. Somebody's in on a terrible secret. Well, what is it, Mr. Minister? You look paler than ever. What in the world? What's going on, Inspector Cabanella? This poor guy. The person I feel the worst for is this prime uh, prime minister. The justice minister. Justice minister. I Not also missile. feel bad. I also feel bad for the prime minister who's been written about <laughs> in all of the beautiful books. Gross details. The rock of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago twisted the fates of many people and started a chain of tragic events. And even now, the chain continues to grow ever longer. Inspector Cabanella's call proved that to us. Hmm. And the greatest mystery of all has risen to the surface. Who is this me I've been chasing all night? Who am I? I'm even fervor from knowing that when I started. Yeah. There's definitely some things that we need to figure out. Yep. You're so this, now we're starting to get the picture putting together. Yeah. The, I actually wondered if the person in the park was us, but I wasn't sure how to prove it. It just, it doesn't make sense though. Because we lost our memory, and we died tonight. We know that. Yeah, maybe um, the people with... Oh my gosh, this could be the most annoying thing, though. What if the people with the blue skin, they are learning how to make clones? <laughs> and there's there's dead us, and then... There's um, a clone of us, you're saying? Yeah, and then they made a clone of us, and like... um printed our, like, consciousness, like, transferred it from the dead body to the living clone, and then we lived a second life, but we didn't have the knowledge previously from the other life. Interesting. Sounds weird, but this is literally- This is Marty talking out This is head. anime, okay? No, it's not. This is not anime. No, but that, that literally is, like, an anime thing that I've seen. Whatever. Weird shows. Um, Thanks for watching, everybody. Holy cow, yeah, the plot's getting really good now. Tune in next time with probably one of the biggest plot twists in any video game. Cabanella <laughs> is evil. Actually, no. Maybe he's in, like, cahoots with all the people, and they're like, Oh, his name's Sissel. We can't trust him. Very well, Seriously, you don't want to miss next episode. It's going to be amazing. Thanks for watching once again, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.